Hi there, this is Lynn Allen. Welcome to another AutoCAD tip courtesy of Catalyst Magazine. Hope your week has been fantastic. I'm here to share with you a tip that has to do with the undo command. And you're like, seriously, Lynn, I'm the expert at undo. I make mistakes all the time. <laughs> okay, not the regular undo command, not that little you that I'm sure you're an expert at and not this arrow up here. That's how most of us undo, one of those two ways. There's other ways as well. Um, I'm talking about the whole undo command. Most of us, if we want to undo, we'd like to do that, right? How about U-N-D-O, the whole undo command, because that allows us to do a lot more things than just that little tiny U command does. This is what I'm talking about. If you wanted to go back five steps, you wanted to undo five steps, most of us would do a U, and then we would do enter, 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 enter or space bar, space bar, space bar, space bar. Or we did that back arrow five times, right? Okay. Or you could go into the undo command and you could type in the number five and it would undo back five steps. All right? Which is faster? Do you get paid by the click? Do you? Do you get paid by the hour? No, undo five is a better route to take. I'm telling you, it's a better route to take. It's worth typing in that extra N-D-O. It is. It's totally worth it. <laughs> You can do it. You can go back 10, you can go back 20, you can do as many as you want. What else can you do in the undo command? You will see that there are a lot of options in there. I can't cover all those options today, maybe next time. But we'll talk about some of the important ones. Have you ever been in a situation where you're going to go off and you're going to try something and you don't know if you're going to want to keep it? It could go badly. Well, what you can do is you can set a marker in the undo command. So in the event it does go badly, you can undo back to the marker. How about that? Let me show you. We set the marker. Let's draw a couple things. Let's pretend that we're drawing along. We're going to give it a try, whatever it is we thought we needed to do. We'll draw a couple of things. And then let's erase something because that's fun to do. Okay, and then we're like, oh, I don't like that. I don't like it after all. I just want to put it back to the way it was before. No problem. Go back into the undo command. And I can do a B for back, and it will only undo back to that marker. Right back to where I was before. No harm done. How about that? That could come in handy, right? All right, so here's another scenario. I know you've all done this. I know you have. Admit it. I know I've done it. Okay, you're, you're working on a join file that looks a lot like another join file. So you open up that other join file with the intentions of doing a save as. That was the goal. But somehow, accidentally, you forgot to do that save as. For example, I'm in the floor one join file. I'm about to start working on floor two. Looks a lot like floor one. So let's start by opening floor one and working from there. Have you done it? I know you have. And then I open up floor one and I'm not thinking, I don't know why I didn't think to do a save as yet. And I start doing some work. I'm drawing things. I'm working on it. I'm making modifications, doing all kinds of things in here. I'm deleting things and I'm not paying attention. And then I do a save, right? And then, oh no, I just saved all the changes that were supposed to be for, for floor two. I just saved it to floor one. So now I've totally messed up floor one. Now I'm in trouble. And what am I going to do? Okay, so first off, let's save it to floor two, right? So we'll do our save as. We'll save that to floor two. Save that to floor two. All right, we got that. Okay, so floor two's good so far. We still need to do more work on it, but okay, that part's good. All right, but now what I want to do is I want to get my poor floor one back to the way it was when I first opened it because Silly Lynn didn't do a save as. I know you've done this. Don't tell me you've never done this. <laughs> no problem at all. Let's go into the undo command. Now, if I do an undo back and I don't have any other markers, it's actually going to undo all the way back to the very beginning of the drawing when I first opened the drawing, not to like the first time you ever used it, but in this drawing session, I'm going to do B for back. It's going to come back and it's going to say, this will undo everything, okay? Hmm, sure, why not? Yes, that's fine. That sounds good. And it will take me back to the very beginning of floor one when I first opened it, when I forgot to do the save as, and now I can do a save as at this point, and I can save this back onto floor one, right? Back onto floor one. So now floor one is the way it was at the very beginning. Whew, I'm safe. Nobody one's going to get mad at me. And floor two has that work that I put into it today as well. Does that make sense? Did you follow? I know if you've done this before, you're totally with me. 
All right, so those are just two of the options, really, mark and back, I guess three options, and then you can also specify a certain number of undos that you want to do inside of the UNDO command, all right? Use it, try it, it'll make you cool. I want you to be cool. Come on, we all want to be cool, right? All right, um, I'll talk more about the undo command next time I see you in two more weeks. Have a great week.